Now another one that I want to show you using the Sky Live feature is the, the phases of the moon. This one uh, today, uh, yesterday was October 25, was waning crescent. Today was new moon. Uh, tomorrow will also be new moon. And then it's going to start becoming waxing crescent and so on. So well, one of the things we learn in astronomy is that when the moon is in its new moon phase, which is today, today and tomorrow, its new moon phase, that it rises roughly about sunrise and sets with the sun. So it rises with the sun and sets with the sun. So that's one of the things you can investigate here. Uh, the new moon, and then it will tell you here, it rose at 7 a.m., sets at 6 p.m., so it's visible for about 11 hours. Okay, and then you can come here and say, see that the sun rises 7.07, so the new moon rises at 7 a.m., the sun sets 6 or 7, so about 11 hours of sunlight, and then the moon sets 6 p.m., so about 11 hours of uh, visibility for the moon, and their elevation is about the same, 43 degrees, 40 degrees, uh, so that's why we have a new moon, it rises with the sun, sets with the sun. When the sun sets, it is not visible at night. Okay, if their elevations had been the same, if they both had been 43 degrees, then we would have a possible solar eclipse. The moon would eclipse the sun. But since the elevation is different by three degrees, it is not a solar eclipse. Okay, so we could uh, look at some other phases of the moon here. Click the days again. As we go forward in the several days, you can see the phases of the moon is now November 3rd, first quarter. Okay. Waxing gibbous and on November 5, waxing gibbous. So what time will the moon arise? Well, when it is, uh, let's see the date, November 3rd. November 3rd, the phase is first quarter. So roughly speaking, the moon should rise about six hours after the sun, after the sun rises. So because it's 90 degrees from the sun. So on November 3rd, the sun is rising 7.14 a.m. So the moon should rise roughly six hours from there, which brings us about 1.14. So you can see here, that the moon is going to rise 2.09 p.m. So it's not exactly the same. And then whenever the sun sets 5.59 p.m., the moon should set about six hours after that, which brings us to uh, uh, six uh, hours from 6 p.m. That gives you uh, 12, 12.51 a.m., you see? So it pretty much makes sense. The two is about six hours after seven, 14 and 12:51 a.m. is about six hours later than when the sun is setting okay how about when we go to full moon okay now how many days would we have to go to full moon from november 3rd well it takes the moon how many days to go around this uh the earth it takes it about 29 days so for every quarter phase of the moon from new moon to first quarter is about seven eight days so if we want to go to full moon, okay, full moon is uh november 10 so about seven days from first quarter the full is full moon the moon is full moon okay so to, this is uh, november 10 november 10 okay so let's see here the sun is rising 6 21 a.m so when should the moon rise well, since it's full moon, it should be opposite of where the sun is. So roughly speaking, it should rise 12 hours after that. Here we can see it rises at 4.48 p.m. So not quite 12 hours after that, right? And then over here, the sun is setting 4.53 p.m. 12 hours after that, the full moon is uh, setting so 6 18 a.m so you can see that the this 12 hour rule doesn't work perfectly but it gives you a ballpark from 6 to 
448 and from 453 to 6 about opposite of basically opposite of what the sun is doing that's what the moon is doing